Today we're going to do a quick trip A. Starting out will be my tennis light on top. The amber in color, so the face in front of the vehicle. It's not cracked, it's not broken, it's not damaged, it's security mounted, no missing hardware. It's just like the. Go down my windshield, touch it, make sure my windshield is not cracked, broken, or damaged, no legal stickers, no disappearing, and security mounted by the rubber seal. The rubber seal is not just the one torn, and security mounted, it has no abrasion, no bumps, no cuts, no leaks. I'm going to my wiper blade, right? This is my wiper blade, full contact to the windshield. The rubber is not successfully worn or torn. And the blade itself is securely mounted to the arm. The arm itself is not cracked, buckled, or damaged, and securely mounted to the vehicle with no missing hardware. Now I'm close to the front of the vehicle. All right? These are my headlights. The headlight cover is clean of uh, debris. The clear ones will indicate as my low beam and my high beam. The amber lights on the right and the left will represent as my left turn signal. My right turn signal, my four-way flasher, and my running lights. They're also not cracked, not broken, not damaged, but securely mounted, no missing hardware. Go underneath, underneath the truck. Make sure to check to see for any hanging hoses, any wires, or any puddle, which will indicate a leak. Now I make sure my truck doesn't, is not leaning to either side, indicating a flat tire, suspension problem, and my load is shifted. Once so I'm done with that, I'm hooked. Both sides of the truck. Just point the contact. One, foot, and pull. Go on this side. So right here on this side, I like to start with all my hoses and my wire first. I'm gonna start with all my hoses. Checking all my hoses, and make sure none of my hoses have any abrasion, any bumps, any cuts, any leaks. Make sure they're all securely mounted, no missing hardware. All my wires on this side of the vehicle. I'm touch every single one of them. Make sure none of my wires are exposed, frayed, cut, or worn, or torn. And make sure they're all properly routed, securely mounted, no missing hardware. Of course, I'll start. Now I'll start with my exhaust system, which is right here all the way to the back. I'm going to come over here, inspect it too. Make sure it's not cracked. Not broken, not damaged, securely mounted, no missing hardware, no leaks. If there's any kind of leaks, you will see black suds. Right here will be my turbo system. My turbo system is not cracked, not broken, not damaged, it's securely mounted, no missing hardware. Right here will be my alternator. It is belt driven, it's not cracked, not broken, not damaged, it's securely mounted, no missing hardware. My belt itself is not frayed, worn, or cut, it's securely mounted, no missing hardware. And when I pull out the center point of it, has no more than three quarter inch of plate. From here will be my windshield washer reservoir. It's not cracked, not broken, not damaged, it's securely mounted with no missing hardware. The fluid is at the proper level. The cap is on the locked position. Not cracked, not broken, no damage, no leaks. Rubber seal inside, has no abrasion, no bumps, no cuts, no leaks. Once I'm done this side, moving on to the other side. So from here, Again, I'll start out with all my hoses on this side of the vehicle, my power string hoses, my, all my air hoses, my air lines, my hoses on this side of the vehicle, my uh, brake chamber hose, make sure none of them have any abrasion, any bumps, any cuts, any leaks, make sure they're all securely mounted, no missing hardware. And all my wires, my ABS line, all my other wires, they're all securely mounted, no fray, worn or cut, and properly routed, securely mounted. Now I'd like to start out with my coolant reservoir on top. My coolant reservoir is not cracked, not broken, not damaged, it's securely mounted, no missing hardware. The fluid level is at the proper level. Make sure both of my caps on the locked position. Not cracked, broken, or damaged, it's securely mounted, no missing hardware, and not leaking. From right here, I'll move on to my engine oil cap. My engine oil cap is not cracked, not broken, not damaged on the locked position, not leaking. The rubber seal inside has no abrasion, bumps, or cuts, not sexually worn or torn, and not leaking. My engine oil dipstick is where I'll service it and check my oil. I make sure it's not cracked, not broken, not damaged, not bent, not leaking. If I need to service this, I'll pull it out, wipe it clean, put it back in, and pull it back out and check the level. If I need to add an oil, I add it through right here by the cap, by the gallon. And from here, move to my water pump. This is my water pump. It's not cracked, not broken, not damaged. It's securely mounted, no missing hardware, and it's not leaking. It's also belt driven. The belt itself is not frayed, worn, or cut. Not uh, security mounted, and when I pull out the center point, I have no more than three quarter inch of plate. 
Now I'm gonna move in inside. If you follow these air lines down, it'll lead you down to your air compressor, which is not visible. The air compressor itself is not cracked, not broken, not damaged, no leaks. It's air driven and securely mounted, no missing hardware. Right underneath it will be the power steering pump. It's also not visible, it's also gear driven, it's not cracked, broken or damaged, and no leaks, and securely mounted, and no missing hardware. As I come back out, this will be my fuse box. It's not cracked, broken, or damaged. It has all my extra spare fuses for this combination vehicle. And it's all make sure all the fuses are properly rated for this combination vehicle. This will be my stern shaft. It's not bent, broken, or damaged, not cracked, broken, or damaged, securely mounted by two U-joints. And when I pull out the center point of it, it has more than 10 degrees of play. The U-joint itself is not cracked, broken, or damaged, securely mounted, no missing hardware. From here, we'll go down to the steering box. It's not cracked, broken, or damaged, it's securely mounted to the frame, and it has no leaks. Now, I'm gonna move up to my power steering, power steering reservoir. It's not cracked, not broken, not damaged, securely mounted, no missing hardware, it's not leaking. I'll make sure to check to see if my floor level is at the proper level. Make sure both of the caps on the lock position, not cracked, broken, or damaged, not leaking. Now, and make sure the rubber seal inside has no abrasion, bumps, or cuts, with no signs of leak. Now I'll move on to my frame. My frame itself is not cracked, broken, or damaged, have no any, any uh, legal wheels or any aftermarket holes. Securely mounted, no missing hardware. This will be my shock absorber and my shock absorber mount. It's not cracked, broken, or damaged, it's securely mounted to the frame with no missing hardware. My shock absorber itself is not leaking. From here, we'll go to my leaf spring mount, which is down here. This is my leaf spring mount or my leaf spring hanger. It's not cracked, not broken, not damaged, scaling mount to the frame with no missing hardware. The leaf spring bushing itself is inside here. It has no abrasion, no bumps, no cuts. Make sure it's securely mounted, no missing hardware. This is my leaf spring itself. It's not shifted. It's not cracked, not broken, not damaged, scaling mounted by two U bolts, the shim, the spacer, and the four nuts underneath, which are securely mounted, not cracked, not broken, not damaged, and no missing hardware. Now we'll move on to my pigment arm, my drag link. Upper, lower control arm, and your tie rod. It's not cracked, broken, or damaged. All securely mounted by three casting nuts. One, two, three, and cotter pins, which are on the lock tight position. And, and uh, no missing hardware. From right here, I'm moving on to my brake chamber. This is my brake chamber. It's not cracked, broken, or damaged. No leaks. It's securely mounted by the clamp. The clamp itself is not cracked, broken, or damaged. It's securely mounted. No missing hardware around the brake chamber. And then right here will be my slack adjuster. My push rod. It's not cracked, broken, or damaged. It's mounted by two pins and cotter pins. When I pull on my slack adjuster, when my brakes are released and my tires are chalk, I should not have more than one inch of play. From here, I'll move inside my tires now, which is my inner hub seal, and my outer hub seal, which is inside this cover. All right, my hub seal is not cracked, not broken, not damaged, no leaks. Securely mounted, and make sure the, the, the fluid is at the proper level. Make sure both the caps on the lock position, not cracked, broken, or damaged, and no leaks. From there, I move inside my brake pads, which are inside the brake drums. All right, my brake pads are not cracked, not broken, not damaged, and they're scaling mounted with no missing hardware. My brake pads, I make sure to check that it should not have no lesser than a quarter inch of material at the thinnest point. From there, I move into my brake drum. My brake drum is not cracked, broken, or damaged, and make sure I check for any sign of discoloration, any came overheating problem. Between my brake drums and my brake pads, I make sure to check for any sign of debris, grease, or any other contamination. From there, I go to my inner rim and my outer rim. This is aluminum rim because it's chrome, middle rim for painted rim. So my rim itself is not cracked, broken, or damaged, no legal weld or any aftermarket hold. And make sure it's securely mounted by all my lug nuts. Make sure you touch every single one of them. Make sure all your lug nuts are not cracked, broken, or damaged. Make sure they're all present and make sure they're all on the lock tight position. If any of these lug nuts were loose, I'll shoot for this uh, aluminum rim. I see shiny metal or oxidation. So from here, I'm gonna move on to my tire. My inner, outer, and the surface of my tire. These tires are steering tires and these tires cannot be recapped, regrouped, or retreaded. Okay, these tires cannot be mix match. And to make sure I do check for any abrasion, any bumps, any cuts, or any leaks. The tread depth of this tire for the front has to be 430 seconds at the deepest point. I'll check it with the tread depth. And make sure it reaches service this tire or add air to this tire, I'll fill it up to the manufacturer's specification, which is right here, to the valve stem. 
So now I'm gonna check my balsam. Make sure my balsam is not bent, broken, or damaged, or no leaks. Make sure the cap's on the lock position. Now crack, broken, or damaged, and not leaking. And to check the pressure, I use a tire pressure gauge to check check it with, through my balsam. Whatever I'll check on this side, I'll do exactly on the other side. This will complete my eight portions of pre-trip. Today we're gonna do our couplings. We're gonna start out with our airlines. There are no abrasions, bulges, cuts, or leaks. The security mounted to the truck. Security mounted to the trailer. Security mounted to the trailer by the glad hand and glad hand receiver. They are not cracked, broken, or damaged. Securely mounted, no missing hardware. They are not leaking. In between them is a rubber seal. The rubber seal is not excessively worn or torn. It is not leaking. Go to my electrical line. My electrical line. There's no cut, frayed, or exposed wire. Securely mounted to the junction box on my trailer, junction box on my tractor. If the examiner likes to know, this is my service line, this is my emergency line. My lines and my electric cord have proper distance to the frame of my vehicle or the catwalk. Either or will work. Moving on. This is my actuator line, or we can just call it an air line. Mm -hmm. This is my air lines. No abrasions, bulges, cuts, or leaks. Securely mounted, no missing hardware. It goes to my air ram. My air ram is not cracked, broken, or damaged. Securely mounted, no missing hardware. My air ram is in the lock position with these two pins through my platform. Coming back over here, my apron. The apron to my trailer is not cracked, broken, or damaged. It's welded, so there's no illegal or missed welds. Coming in here, my skid plate. My skid plate is not cracked, broken, or damaged. Securely mounted by two pins and a cotter pin. In between my skid plate and my apron, there's no daylight and it's properly greased. This is my lock and jaw ladder. It is not cracked, broken, or damaged, securely mounted, no missing hardware, and is in the lock position. This right here, this here, and this here is my platform. My platform is not cracked, broken, or damaged, securely mounted, no missing hardware. It's welded up here, and all these bolts right here hold it on. They are not cracked, broken, or damaged, securely mounted, no missing hardware. My platform is securely mounted to my frame. By all these bolts right here, they are not cracked, broken, or damaged. Securely mounted, no missing hardware. Coming back to the inside of the vehicle. <clears throat> I'm going to point up into the middle of my skid plate. That's my kingpin. My kingpin is not cracked, broken, or damaged. It's welded, so there's no illegal or missed welds. Coming back out, my locking jaw, the bar going across. It is not cracked, broken, or damaged, securely mounted, no missing hardware. It is in the Loctite position around the shank of my kingpin. Coming on out. <coughs> when you come out, I'm going to take my landing gear shoe. In between my landing gear and my vehicle, I have the proper distance to make a 90 degree turn. That concludes my cuppings.